हेलो गाइज यह शिवली एंड यूर वेलकम टू माई किचन हैव यू एवर बॉइल्ड योर रोटी और चपाती इन वाटर यू विल बी शॉक्ट विद द रिजल्ट आफ्टर बॉइलिंग रोटी और चपाती इन वाटर यू विल गेट ए वंडरफुली डिलीशियस ब्रेकफास्ट सो गाइज लेट सी द रेसिपी एट फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू नीड अ रो सो आई एम टेकिंग वन एंड हाफ कप ऑफ फ्लावर यू मे टेक एनी काइंड ऑफ फ्लावर दैट मीन्स प्लेन फ्लावर और व्हीट फ्लावर दैट इज नो प्रॉब्लम एंड चेंज द मेजरमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर नीड and now i'm adding some salt about 1/4 teaspoon of salt i'm adding now i'm going to mix everything nicely and now i'm going to add an egg in the flour but adding egg is not necessary for this recipe i'm going to make it more delicious so i'm adding the egg now i'm mixing everything nicely again and after that i'm going to knead a dough i'm adding water little by little and kneading a dough the dough should be neither soft nor hard so as like a dough of uh, roti or paratha i'm kneading the dough and don't add too much water at a time to maintain the thickness of the dough add water little by little gradually and my dough is ready as you can see so now i'm going to rest it for about 10 to 15 minutes with a lid so i'm covering the dough and uh, after about 10 to 12 minutes this is our dough the dough is softer than before so now i'm going to knead it again for some time for about 1 or 2 minutes and after that i'm going to roll the rotis so i have taken a chakli that means a surface for rolling and now i'm going to divide the dough into equal portions so i have made four equal portions of the dough and now i'm going to make rotis so after making it round i'm going to roll it with rolling pin i'm going to roll it like regular roti or chapati this is the thickness it's a thin roti and now i'm taking it into a plate and i'm going to roll the uh, rest of the portions that means rest of the rotis so this is the last and i have rolled the five rotis total 1 2 3 4 5 so now here i am boiling some water and the heat is on high so now in the boiling hot water i am going to add a roti i am going to uh, boil one or two rotis at the same time but not more than that we need to boil the rotis for about 5 to 6 minutes on high heat and i'm going to add another roti along with this and i'm going to boil them 2 by 2 the heat should be on high and now i'm adding another roti i'm going to boil the both of them for about 5 to 6 minutes on high heat because of adding egg the rotis or chapatis won't be overcooked but if you're not adding eggs you should be aware of the timing you should not cook them for more than 5 or 6 minutes so after 5 to 6 minutes i'm taking them out into a cold water i have taken the cold water to stop the cooking process of the rotis quickly so i'm taking the another one out and in the same process i'm going to boil all the rotis in the boiling hot water and after about 2 to 3 minutes i'm going to take the rotis out of the cold water in a strainer to strain the excess water and i'm going to do the same things for all of the rotis after that i'm taking a chopping board and i'm taking a roti on the board i'm going to fold it and cut it into pieces I'm going to cut it lengthwise so I'm folding the roti The roti is broken so I'm arranging it again and I'm folding it like this as I'm showing And now I'm going to cut it with the help of a knife like this So in the same process I'm going to cut all of the rotis as like the shape of noodles or pasta. So 
so all of them are done this is our homemade pasta and now let's go for the main process let's check the veggies we need for this recipe i'm taking some cabbage beans onions carrots capsicums and some green chilies according to taste and all of the veggies are cut finely and here are some spring onions so in the pan i'm going to add some cooking oil i'm spreading the oil in the pan nicely the heat is on high now after the oil and pan is heated well i'm going to add the veggies so at first i'm adding onions beans carrots and cabbages i'm leaving the uh, capsicums and the green chilies for later on high heat i'm going to fry them for about 2 minutes and after that i'm going to add some salt after 2 minutes of frying i'm adding some salt according to taste don't add too much salt because we added salt in the dough and we are going to add some sauces in this recipe and there are salt in the sauces also so don't add too much salt after frying for about 5 minutes i am adding the capsicums and the green chilies and after that i am going to fry it for about 2 uh, to 3 minutes again until the veggies are cooked about 80% if you like half cooked veggies in noodles or pasta then you may do it but i like to cook them nicely now the veggies are cooked about 70 to 80% so now i am going to add some sauces so 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce I'm mixing a little and after that I'm going to add some green chili sauce and some red chili sauce. 1 teaspoon of green chili sauce and 1 teaspoon of red chili sauce. You may add some oyster sauce if you have and I'm going to add some tomato ketchup but not now. I'm going to add it at the end of this recipe. After adding sauces, I'm adding some spring onions and mixing everything nicely again. and after that i'm going to add the pastas pasta or noodles as you call it so here are they i'm adding them after that i'm mixing everything nicely again with the help of the spatula now we need to mix and cook for about 2 to 3 minutes on high heat and after that our noodles or pasta will be ready and at the end of this recipe i'm going to add some ketchup tomato ketchup and you may add some fresh coriander leaves if you like yes. but i'm not adding it i'm mixing everything nicely again yes. and now our super tasty noodles or pasta is ready i'm going to serve it with some tomato ketchup and enjoy it so guys try this simple and delicious recipe boiling your roti or chapati and enjoy it If you try this recipe don't forget to share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye take care